Capricorn, uh, this is going to be a reading for September 9th through the 15th, and why do I get the feeling I wanted to tell you something other than that, and I really don't think that I do. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's uh, just pretend that didn't happen, let's bypass that. All right, uh, I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be uh, pulling a final tip from the universe card for you. This is a general reading. It may not apply to all of you. Uh, the energies that I'm talking about may happen very well uh, in six months. Uh, so, take it if it resonates, if it doesn't, there are others out there doing the same thing, uh, great uh, tarot readers on YouTube, maybe you'll find one that uh, fits you, so let's see, let's see what's happening for you, Cappy, a lot of things happening for you. Ooh, okay. okay, so the overall energy for this reading is someone wants to come in with an offer here. It's a very slow moving one. It's either you or your partner. Uh, for your recent past, you get the Justice card, Page of Cups, and Queen of Wands. Huh. Somebody here tried to balance things out uh, with a person that they thought of as being very beautiful, very charming. Um, I'm not getting yet. We'll see when we clarify. For now, it's looking like somebody tried to make things work in a connection and possibly try it over and over again. Uh, for your current situation, we get the Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the King of Wands. Now, so the way I see it, you, the Queen of Wands, is you right here in the recent past. You trying to make things work here for uh, the the current situation, the King of Wands, I kind of see as being your partner. This is a power couple. These are two people that fit well together. So um, given that I do get that this is your person, I feel like they, they kind of feel stuck in, uh, in their mind a lot about what's happening in this connection. They just want the two of you to come back together and that's it. And they seem pretty determined. Now, I don't know if they're doing something with this Eight of Swords here. Uh, but it looks like... It's kind of like what they want, what they need. Not necessarily that they're moving in that direction. Because I do see them very much confused about what's going on. So, in your immediate future, you get the Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Somebody's moving fast towards uh, creating a stable foundation here for the two of you. This could be you, this could be your partner. Um, it's going to be a bumpy road, whoever that is, for the both of you. So, let me clarify things. Let's see this Knight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Whoever this person is that's moving towards the other person, I'm not getting if it's you or them. Uh, I kind of tend to think that it's them. Could be you though. Uh, this offer that this person has, has been very, very 
thought of, very well thought of, and uh, it's being manifested. This person really wants this, you know, this brand new beginning that they're coming with. Uh, so you get the uh, Justice card, the King of Swords, and the Magician. There is a little bit of a sense of uh, control here, just a tiny dose of control, like... I kind of want this like this, you know? It doesn't leave too much room for uh, things to be different in this person's mind. So they are very determined, whoever this is. I'm kind of getting it's your, your person here. Um, let me see. Let me clarify the justice in your recent past. Yeah, so all you ever wanted out of this connection was to um, get to this place of stability, of um, you, I kind of see you trying and trying and trying to balance things out, to make things work in this connection. And um, I'm saying it's you because you show up here. Ow! You show up here. Um, however, something, even in your efforts to balance things out, something there was not working out. It kind of feels like you went over the same thing over and over again, kind of like giving this person another chance and another chance and another chance until you kind of got tired and you... Uh, possibly told it as it was like you know what this is not going anywhere and uh, you may have very well ended up going off on your own to find your own stability let me clarify this uh, page of cups Yeah, you were very much uh, really, really undecided, not knowing where to go because you knew there was love here. You tried and you tried and you tried. Uh, then you waited. It's like you try and then you wait for results. Then you try, then you wait for results. And something changed for you. I feel like you're not waiting anymore. You're not confused anymore. Not as confused, at least. Something changed and something changed for the better for you. In the sense that it took you out of the confusion. At least now you know where things are. No, I don't know where things are, but at least now it's looking a little bit more clear than it did before. Let me clarify this Eight of Swords in your current situation. So somebody walked away here from this connection. There was a very strong, stable connection. Somebody walked away and they're ready to start fresh, to start new here. Um, they're still feeling a little tied up to it. They may be, energetically speaking. Uh, they're still thinking about it a lot, whoever walked away. Let me clarify this Two of Cups. Yeah, definitely somebody walked away from this. Somebody put this to bed. It was like, I'm done. And again, with the Knight of Wands, it's kind of looking like if you were the one that walked away, your confidence level is increasing and you're ready to go out there and, uh, you know, see what's up, what's next, what's coming. And uh, it's hard. It's hard for you. And you know that, you know, walking away from something that... 
I do see here that you tried, so you must have, you know, had a lot of feelings there or a lot of, I don't know, something. You were invested into this and you walked away from it. Let me clarify this chariot. Let's see where you're heading towards so, so fast. Yeah, I kind of sense that someone's coming here with an offer, a uh, very fast offer in your immediate future to start things up. And again, walking away from it. And instead going within, accessing those highly spiritual secrets, you know, that you may feel the need to at this time. Let's clarify the uh, Ten of Pentacles. There is, there is something in regards to this uh, connection. Things are slowly but surely crumbling down. Uh, you standing in your power will create conflict. But I feel like you will anyway. And that's why I think I think the burdens are in here. So let me clarify those. So I kind of sense that you're focusing a lot on, you know, your material world, your work possibly. It does make you happy. And I do see communication here. Uh, you know, even though you're happy focusing on work, there's still this uh, underlying energy of you, you feeling sad, feeling, you know, about this whole situation. So I do sense that you're communicating with somebody in regards to that. It could be friends, it could be family, it could be, I don't know, whoever. But I do feel you talking, talking to people, you know, expressing yourself a lot. So um, in regards to this connection, I keep on seeing walking away from it for you. The other person is still trying, coming towards you over and over again, energetically, physically even. And you keep going in the other direction here. And you're focusing on work a lot. So let's see, let's uh, pull up a final tip from the universe card for you. You're, uh, you're really, really getting into your power here. You're getting into this kind of person that's, you know, confident, knows exactly what they want. They're going to go get it if they want it. Um, coming from this space, you know, being a little bit, um, not a little bit protective of your heart. It's looking like you're opening your heart completely and you're trusting that whatever happens is going to be just fine because this person can take pretty much everything that's coming their way so you're dropping this kind of attitude here and you're heading straight towards mm. all right so uh this is what i have for you uh i hope it helped and i'll see you next time bye